Hello guys, today we're going to take a look at uh, some performance of uh, some famous products. You probably all know the age old BD40 rust dissolver and the uh, lubricant. And then we have here the PB blaster, uh, frequently talked about on car forums uh, on the internet. We have here um, a 2 kilo weight. This one is mostly surface rust on it. There's nothing uh, deep underneath, it's a little bit more. And it sits on this white plate to better view how much it actually comes off. We have some bolts taken off uh, the, uh, the underside of the Jeep, the car. And uh, over here we have this bar, and the bar is evenly rusted all over. Pretty much the same amount. Just to show you the two kilo weights. They look identical. Finally, we also have here here's some pure rust. Uh, we're going to crack up some piece of this. Iron oxide, you can see it's pure rust. Break it, comes off here. And there's another piece over here. See, it falls apart. We're gonna take some pieces of this pure rust, iron oxide, and then we're gonna put that in the petri dishes that you see here. We also have the CRC556, we're not gonna include that in this one all um, the test objects but we're going to run that uh, on the middle of this bar over here BD40 so it's all covered now this one is yellow in its color okay, interesting it has different type of spray nozzle as well more push in it There we go, all covered. Then we're gonna spray it on the bar over there. We're gonna do the same over here. Put on plenty. This is clearly in an excess of what you use on the rusty bolts, but for comparison, and we spray this one in the middle. Uh, I don't know which one's going to be the most effective one. CRC PV Blaster or the WD40. There we are, all covered. And all covered. Alright, we have uh, had this uh, PV blaster now and the VD40 sitting on the rusty parts for approximately one hour. And uh, we're going to start with just doing a simple test. We know that the surface, the bottom side of this one, was the rustiest part of the 2 kilo weight. So I'm just going to lift it up and we see what it looks underneath. Well, as you can see, there's still some rust there, and the amount of iron oxide or dissolved stuff is, uh, yeah, the liquid has become uh, kind of brownish. I'm putting this one on the side there, and we're gonna focus in here. See, there we are. And I'm gonna 
just tip over the bolts. Same there. There we put them on the side. There we have there. You see this come up like a hexagonal part over there with one bolt of standing. So let's move over to uh, the VD40. So we're actually going to look underneath here as well. Take the bottom surface here. Let me get the light correct. And just pull my finger across. Comes off a bit, a little bit more. Then we move over to the VD40. Wipe off my hands. Fine again. And let's zoom in on this. We lift it up. And uh, now this this one is uh, white and not yellow as the other one, but uh, it actually seems it looks pretty similar. Actually, a little bit more almost. Move back. See, this is the PB blaster that uh, seems to retain the fluid on the surface more than the VD40. But the parts that was immersed inside the VD40 over here seems to have dissolved almost a little bit more. I'm gonna take over to this one and take my finger and see how much it sticks. And uh, yeah, it comes off a little bit more there as well. If you see that, then we're going to take the nuts. Uh, seem to become a little bit more dry on the top, and um, well, they've dissolved. Yeah, you see, the hexagonal pattern is almost coming out there. Put them on the side, and there you have it. And you see the hexagonal pattern of all of them, whereas the from the bolt head of the bolt, whereas in the VD40, only one of them showed properly. Um, the VD40 is um, well, it definitely evaporates faster than the PB blaster. So in the long run, maybe the PB blaster has more of an effect. When I see. Well, one thing is for clear, the difference is not massive between these two rust dissolvers. It's pretty much the same and the bolts are still rusty after one hour. Uh, go back to the wipe off my hands. Well, that's almost. Go back to the PB blaster again. Look at these bolts here. I can already come with the first conclusion here. There's not much of a difference between these two. Um, the main difference after one hour is that the WD40 evaporates faster, the PB blaster sits a little bit stronger to the surface, a little bit more adhesion. The difference between the 2 kilo weights is almost non-existent. Took a little bit more actually the DD40 from the bottom. This is the PB blaster. This is the BD40. Oh, here it's actually come off a bit, a big chunk. BD40 or WD40. 
So let's move over to the dissolving experiments. WD-40 here. How does this feel? Falls apart. It's chunks. A little bit harder chunks than in the WD-40. Which is consistent with the greater capability of dissolving the rust of the WD-40. Now moving over to the bar. Get a clear picture of this. This is the WD-40. Focus on it. Move over to the PV blaster side. Yeah, this PV blaster side is rougher. rougher it's not as smooth it's not as smooth as the it has the salt from rust no question about that you see the pattern it's the lines but it's not as smooth as the WD40 is also makes the lines so the last thing I'm going to do here now is to take this one here, here. that's where the CRC 56 is sitting was sitting it's over here Well, that's the worst performer on the bar test, CRC56. So I would rank them WD40, PV Blaster, and CRC56. They may work as penetrant for getting into bolts, but they're no rust dissolvers in the sense of acting as an acid. Here are the two weights. Um, in the normal light from the window, this is the PV blaster, and this is the WD40. And the PV blaster. PV blaster and again you see that the surface is a bit rough more rough on this one